Hey, good evening everyone. It is Carl. It is Saturday evening. It is about 5.30 here in Florida. The family and I took a little Thanksgiving birthday weekend little trip over here from St. Petersburg over to Orlando, Florida. Get away. Use our timeshare. We have a Wyndham timeshare that we have so many points to use and we decided to take a long weekend book the uh, resort here a couple months ago and that's where we ended up for the weekend well let me tell you something every time people check in the window i hear the horror stories of oh they press you into a meeting you need to go to the upsell meeting you need to go to the owner meeting so today we checked in friday uh thursday we checked in Thursday evening. They're like, hey, you need to go to the owner's update meeting, blah, blah, blah. 30 minutes, we'll give you a $150 Visa card. Nah, we're good. Well, you really should go to it. And I said, well, you know what? We can go to it. We have a uh, son, 12 year old son, just turned 12. His friend's with us. He'll be asleep. So this kick it around see what they want to say so we got this morning yesterday we went to SeaWorld on Friday we got this morning we went to this meeting guy sitting down with all this paperwork oh we can give this many points we can upgrade to this no extra cost you're you're in the lock rate right now you get we have 154,000 points and we kicked around he come back oh y'all gotta give credit you can do this you can do that no extra money. I'll give you 300,000 points. Sounded good. So he went, done his paperwork, come back, sat down. This is what you're paying now. This is what this one cost you. Wait a minute. I'm paying this much money now. I'm paying extra. Yeah, no. Oh, it's an interest. You know, we're making an interest. We're making a killing interest. So it's just free money. Sorry, I keep looking on my shoulder. The wife and son walk down and get some ice cream. So, uh, my wife's like, no, I don't know. I'm like, you get the degree in accounting. <clears throat> you both work, so, you know, it's up to you. So the guy walked away a few minutes. So like, look at this. We're paying this much now, and they want almost $500 more. Nah, we ain't gonna do it. So he come back. We told him that uh, we weren't interested, and he gave us a spiel. My wife's like, "No." I said, "No. That's what we're gonna stick with." All right, I'll be back in a minute. He goes over and gets his manager. His manager comes over. Now again, this is started at seven forty-five this morning. It was about eight fifteen now. We should have been walking out of there. Guy sits down, starts going over the stuff. My wife says, "I said no." And that's my final answer. Well, he kept on, and he kept on, and he kept on. Well, let me just tell you. She says, I said no. That's my final answer. You're not pressuring me into anything. And we said no. End of the discussion. He says, thank you for your time. Go to the desk and get your gift. The gift was a $150 Visa card. No big deal. So it, was, it took an hour total after all the bullshit. Part of my language. So we go to the desk. The lady says, oh, your award. We had this paper with our name and everything on it. $150 was... I give you a hundred dollar gift card. I said it's hundred fifty. No, it's a hundred dollars. You didn't take the deal. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me because we didn't take your upsell to get more points for a more money that y'all lied about, so it wouldn't cost any more? You cheated us out fifty dollars. My wife was irate, and I don't blame her. So. No means no. I don't know how many times we got to tell, tell people that. But we are right here at... Turn this around over. You can see behind me here. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Right back there. See that little ball? That is Epcot Center. And over here you got... I believe it's going to be... What she said was? Hollywood Studios and stuff. So we got a great view from the... 
Bonnie Creek Wyndham Resort here, but the wife said no. And it really irritated her that she said it several times. Not a little guy, the sales pit man was doing his pitch and got shot down, so he didn't get a commission off of it. But when the manager come over and the wife said no, she meant no. So people ask me all the time, how much do you pay for your timeshare? Well, it's pretty expensive, but this one, the window, gives you points. You buy so many points, you can use them anywhere in the United States, anywhere in the world. They got them all in the United States. They got them in Paris, Japan, Hawaii. So what we do, just like in March, we're going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We already got the hotel or the resort booked. My father-in-law and brother-in-law and his wife will be joining us. I think we got three bedroom condo there. We have a three bedroom condo here. That was so many points and then we used them here. We still got points left over. Not many. But it really irritated the wife and I that the word no, they don't understand. And I'm on several Facebook groups where people say no and they end up getting pressured. When the state of Florida, the word no means no. You can't, you just can't pressure people into it. So there's going to be some phone calls made this week to a couple government officials and Better Business Bureau and we're going to make a complaint. You know, we work hard for our money. We joined the Wyndham Township Group two years ago and we've never had no problems. That's gonna be my rant today. No means no, and that's what we mean. So, just like in the business, you run your lawn care business, you run your water business in. Customer says no, enter the discussion. Don't push them. Made my wife uncomfortable, pissed me off a little bit. My telephone's ringing. It's the wife calling me. So, I'll let this go. As always, keep doing what you're doing, keep making money. I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you shortly.